Hey, this is Brad. Thanks for uh, visiting my blog. I uh, was too lazy to write tonight, and I should probably just uh, go to sleep because usually thoughts that happen this late aren't uh, usually productive or are good. Nevertheless, uh, maybe tonight will pan out for something. Uh, we're, those of you who know us personally, know that we're kind of in a confusing time wondering what the Lord's going to do, where the Lord's going to take us, how this is all going to work out, and. Um, the Lord has provided an intense peace that He's never, or that I've never known before in weird, unusual, trying uh, times of this kind of expectant wondering. And uh, so here we are trying to figure out our professional life and realizing, gosh, I'm good for nothing in this world. I can't sell, I can't produce, I can't uh, I just feel like I'm not cut out for a lot of the things that this world values. And um, I'm sure there's feelings that we all have at some point or another as we as we walk with the Lord, but I was uh, talking with a brother in the Lord uh, earlier this evening who's going through a very similar situation, and uh, we were just musing over how fantastic it is that the Lord doesn't let us get too comfortable with um, with uh, with the world, and musing over the fact that uh, <laughs> it, uh, in situations like this, it's no problem to wonder if the Lord came back, we wouldn't be hanging on to anything back here. Uh, nevertheless, still kind of there's that piece of you that wonders and wants to know why in the world God lets these uh, situations go on as long as they do you feel like you've submitted you feel like you've rested you feel like you're ready to accept the uh, <clears throat> the situation that he's given you and you're kind of ready to move on well that's where we're at um, and it made me think of what I read in, in this uh, book C.S. Lewis wrote uh, in a grief observed that he wrote about the death of his wife um, as he got along in the process he says, God has not been trying an experiment on my faith or love in order to find out their quality. He knew it already. It was I who didn't. In this trial, he makes us occupy the dock, the witness box, and the bench all at once. He always knew that my temple was a house of cards. His only way of making me realize the fact was to knock it down. Um, it's just uh, something of a phenomenal thing that, that this is the way... Uh, the Lord works and keeps us looking to Him and relying on Him and and um, yeah and what do we do? We keep smiling, we keep trusting, we keep hoping and and realizing that the best thing for us might not be that uh, we make it through another day. He may bring us home, and that death is not the worst thing that could happen to us. Not that we should go seeking after it, but um, the worst thing that could happen is is that we take our eyes off Christ, uh, that we lose our trust and and time beholding and him, beholding Him. And the future is a very small thing in respect in light of all that. So quite a quite a phenomenal thing and um, really found it to be such an encouragement to talk to our brothers in a very similar situation and uh, dealing with the same issues that that uh, that I am, that we are, and wives and families and kids and the whole deal and just wondering, what's the Lord going to do? Where is this going to go? And finding out that it will go where he wants it to go and it will be good not because it looks great from or it'll look great from a worldly perspective but because we'll have beheld him and known him every step of the way and uh, what a privilege to get to sit on the edge of a cliff uh, knowing that that it's our God is going to take us off uh, that it's our God that's going to carry us down or through or, and ultimately um, even though this all of our little houses of guards all of our mortgages all of our jobs all of our status symbols and all the other things that maybe seem important to us at some level they'll all go away and God will be there at the end um, holding us so I was uh, talking to April about the same thing uh, my wife and uh, decided that going through this situation we have the we don't have a whole lot of choice in the situation but we do have a choice in our outlook and the outlook choices are to trust in God and, and, and hope that and know that hope in the sense of a expected and guaranteed hope, know that he's got something ahead for us, or fall in despair and wonder and fear if he's actually there, if he's actually paying attention, and uh, it's just no way to live, living in doubt, living in fear, it seems like James talked a little bit about that. Um, so, praying for the strength to choose hope today, praying for the strength to choose to trust in Christ, praying for all that thing, all those things for me, and praying for all those things for you. So, what helps you? Uh, what helps you?
put your focus back on Christ in those uh, difficult times? What would make us, what would bring us to the place, what would bring me to the place of viewing this time as not uh, another trial or another problem, but viewing it as pure joy? Uh, yeah, thanks for coming by.